Have you ever wondered what sort of mistakes you can make when you're training your dogs to pull a sled? On today's episode, we find out. Another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host Bob Tremblay. In today's episode I'm going to share some video from a hill training run that we went on with the dogs a couple of days ago. And during the course of our run I made a couple of mistakes. And in today's video you'll get to see those mistakes happen in real time and how we move past them. But first a word of caution the first mistake is a little graphic. All right, so while I enjoy making these videos for you, I also use them as one of my training tools because I do review them and I look back at what the dogs did well, what I did well, what we didn't do well. But anyway, here I make one of the biggest mistakes that you can make as a musher. And so here it is coming up, and you can see right here, Bandit was trying to tell me something. So let's watch that again. Um, and I, he was telling me something, and I really should have paid attention. So take a look at how he pulls to the side here, near the beginning of the run. I know what that basically means, and I ignored it. And so here's the graphic part. So stop the video if you want to. But I actually struck the dogs. Bandit stopped because he had a poop. And then um, he stopped so suddenly that it was before I was able to get my foot on the claw brake. And I'm really embarrassed, but I actually struck the dogs. I bumped into them. I didn't hit them very hard. Okay, ready? Um, I let Bandit finish doing his business. The dogs were just fine. See, they weren't even bothered. And they started right off just running strong and confidently. So I'm really lucky that they didn't get hurt. Um, I'm really lucky that they didn't get traumatized by that, um, that they still trust me. But I really was um, extremely embarrassed that it happened. Um, you know, I look back on it and I really do need to watch my dogs and, and listen to them, especially in the beginning. They do typically have to go to the bathroom when we start. Um, I, I really should start them running on an empty stomach if I can, when I can. Um, ideally, I'd like to teach them to kind of poop and pee as they go, which they would learn if they were part of a bigger team. But anyway, we continued our run and this run was a real roller coaster. A lot of small ups and downs and so the dogs are learning to kind of um, hit those different paces. Here we are on a straightaway and they're going nice and steady at good gait and they're finding that when there's a downhill they can kind of pick it up a little bit and when there's an uphill um, they have to kind of lean into their harness and pull the sled and take more of the weight. Whoa. All right, let's turn around. Come on, let's go back. Good dogs, good dogs. Around, yes, yes, yes. Good dogs, yeah, ahead, ahead. Like, hop, 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 hop. No, hop, hop, yes, yes, there we go, good dogs. Good dogs. Ahead, leave it. Good dogs. Good dogs. No, 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 G, good, yes, ahead.
Well, today is the first full day of winter, so I wanted to take advantage of that and get the dogs out for a little sledding run. We Today we have been focusing on hill climbing. So we just climbed some pretty big hills. Um, the snow right now, we are following a snowmobile track, and so it is a little bit broken for us. Um, it's been deer season, and so we've been, it's a Sunday, so we're out here on a Sunday, and uh, the snow is a little bit melted off from the two feet we had a couple weeks ago. It's actually like perfect conditions right now for sledding. See the dogs right now are dipping, so this is the way that they rehydrate when we're stopped. Um, some, some breeders will actually breed their dogs have long tongues, specifically so they can dip as they run. Alright, you guys ready? You ready? A little more hill, and then we get some downhill. Is on the claw brake. Oh, I've got the snow up. See, they're ready to go. Okay, ready? Let's go. Right, Alonzi. Good dogs. Good dogs. G, G, yes. From breaking trail. Yes, that's it. Good. Good dogs. G. Yes. Yes. Well, coming up, you can see Birch Hill Dam. So that large hill right there is a big earthen dam for flood control, holding back the waters of the Miller's River here. And so to get around this dam, our snowmobile trail continues and goes up a steep hill and then goes down a steep hill. So this is, uh, we're about maybe a mile from the car. So this is towards the end of our run. So the dog is going to get a good uphill and a downhill practice. Looks like they're already getting anxious. Alright. So in a moment, we will depart. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Help up. Yes. Uh, hit. The climb is going to start in just a few hundred feet. Uh, there's a slight incline right now. I'm able to kind of kick along. Pretty soon I'm going to have to get off and walk with them up this hill, which I'll actually do now. All right, come on. I'm holding on to the handlebar and walking behind the sled. I don't want to lose it. That's the steepest part of the climb right now. Come on. This hill gets a lot of sun, so the snow is never quite as deep. Good. Whoa. Whoa. So there's a little flat spot here right near the top of the dam. 
we'll catch our breath and there's a short one more hill that we'll be going up whoa Stan it's great that they're so enthusiastic here's looking back at where we came from you see the Miller's River down there we're up on top of the hill this is the dam itself And here are the dogs anxiously waiting for me to get us started so we can do our downhill run. All right, one little bit of climb and then a long downhill. Okay, ready? Let's go. Good dog. Good boy, Bandit. Good girl, Siva. One last little bit of up. That's it. Up, up. We're nearing the crest, and here we are, we're at it. Butts start going down. This is going to be exciting. All right, good, let's go. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh, got some ice coming up. See how we do here. Good. Yep, hot. Hot. Good dogs. Good dogs. Wait, G. No, G. G. No, G. G. Yes. Yep, ahead. Good. This is a new trail. I've never seen this one before. Let's see how Shiva noticed it. Come on! Go across some ice. Good dogs. Yep. G. Good. Yes. 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 Yeah. Good one. G. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The winter has just begun and the best is yet to come. I look forward to seeing you on the trail on our next episode of Massachusetts.